This was written just before I had to go to court and uh, led to my eventual suicide attempt on behalf of uh, which I did literally in court. <laughs> uh, flair for the dramatic. Anyway, this uh, piece is entitled Justice and it's actually uh, a portrait, uh, a poetic rendering of a rather hideous statue that's uh, of justice that uh, adorns, and I use that in a sarcastic way, adorns or rather defaces the, Fed, the Martin Luther King Federal Building at Federal Square in Newark. And the statue was hideous in that it is just a head and it looks as if it has been guillotined. It looks like death. <laughs> anyway, the piece is entitled Justice. <clears throat> Justice beheaded and truth disemboweled, slithering snippets of robe delusion in the already guillotined image of dispassionate stupor and blindfolded oblivion with no arms so as to strike, no hands so as to steal, with only the mere coiffured head not able to conspire in copulative collusion as the dispassionate stupor with slightly parted lips of unrepentant clay which are pursed in gratuitous pity. <clears throat> oh, you guillotined soulless statue of justice, sing us the maddening dirge of the affliction of life in unresolved, unsettled, questionable answers, carrying only unanswerable questions to term, in aborted labor of motherless caesarean phantoms, with the uniform harlots in copulative collusion, without arms so as to gather, without hands so as to heal, without heart which is obtrusive, without soul which is superfluous, to witness the ritual of a motherless caesarean, of the guillotined, disemboweled illusion of justice. <clears throat>